Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to make a comic of ourselves now. And this is what we started with. We made a white background, and we made a couple of other layers, and this is what it's going to come out to be. Bam. All right, so we're going to make ourselves into a cartoon. First things first, I'm going to go a little bit quickly because it's kind of a long tutorial because my particular image, there's a lot of editing. So I won't save anything. Well, actually, yeah, I'll save this. That's fine. Now, good. I'm going to go to File, Open. I'm going to open up an image of myself on my desktop. All right, I'm going to lighten it. Go to Image, Auto Tone, Auto Contrast, and Image levels we will brighten it up a bit that's fine now now that it's bright I want to go to um, first we're gonna change our foreground color to black and the background color will change to white so we got our foregrounds and background colors now um, the first thing we're going to do is change this thing with a filter we're going to go to sketch and stamp so you go to in this background layer we're going to duplicate it so we have a copy and now we're going to go to this one filter go to the filter gallery in Photoshop CS6 whoopsie control alt Z sorry filter filter gallery alright something's not working here filter filter gallery sorry <laughs> wrong section because I already did this prior so when I go into sketch I'm gonna click on stamp and, and when you click stamp you can't see anything yet because the uh, you gotta lower it a little bit the size of it so you can also just hit alt and it'll lower the uh, size for you alright you can move it any way you need to alright this one is already set up for me but I played with the you could play with the the levels and the lightness and darkness and smoothness I'm gonna kinda leave this image the way that it is but you play with the smoothness and things like that to get uh, a little bit more of your image so you can just see the black and white outlines you don't wanna see too much detail just enough where you know it's there alright I'm gonna lower that just a little more detail into it and that's okay I'm alright with that so I'm gonna hit okay and bam there it is now I've made myself a sketch um, we are now just going to fix the white areas into here. So you click your magnifying glass, get close into your eyes. If you notice that you have a lot of black, click on the, um, what you might call it. First thing you'll do is, well, oh, sorry. Let's back up a bit. One second here, folks. All right, let's get into here. Move tool. We're going to back out a little bit. Uh, control zero so I can see everything. I'm going to make another layer and in the back I'm just going to make this layer a completely white layer by going to the rectangle tool changing the foreground to white go behind it and now I've got a completely white layer behind it. The reason I'm doing that is because when I go into here this particular layer with my magnifying glass I want to take out some of this so I'm going to click the brush tool and we're going to lower you want a hard edge not a so soft edge so go to the hard edge and you're going to lower the lower the size of it and now oh pardon me I'm sorry first thing we do here is before we we can you could do it either way but we want to darken the hair so you're going to click and you're going to darken your hairs here okay We'll get to the eyes in a moment. Sorry, I'm jumping around. I'm trying to make this not too long of a tutorial, but sometimes it doesn't always pan out that way. Okay, let's click the move tool and let's get the hair in. The brush tool with back black in the background, foreground rather. Make the diameter a little bit bigger if need be. And now you can really start coloring in things you need to. Alright. There you have it. That's that. Let's get up here. Get the hard edges. See, I got like a little bit of a uh, open hair over here. And you may want to play with your eyebrows a little bit too. Not too big. You want to fill in the spots though. Okay. That's I'm okay with that. That's why not. 
All right, I'll lower the opa lower this diameter a bit, and we'll just get myself some thinner eyebrows here. I'm Italian. I do have thick eyebrows. It's a burden. It's all right though. All right, so we'll come over here. There you go. That's fine. Now, with that said, you get the eyes. You want to uh, let me see. Let's get a little closer into the eyes, and you want to just erase parts of the parts that you can't see. <laughs> Click your eraser tool. Obviously, the diameter is too big. You want a smaller. You don't want a soft edge. You want a hard edge again. And you want to erase in the right layer. That's the copy that we just did. And you're going to erase the parts so you can still see the white of your eyeball. Right about there. That's fine. Wait, control Z. Let's leave a little edge. So we'll go a little smaller, like a 7. That's fine. Sphere it. And we'll sphere this one. And we'll get it out of the edge. That's okay. That's a good eye. Moving right along. Next. And get this eye clear. So we can actually see what's going on. Okay. Erase. And we'll erase this little part of the eye. <laughs> Goodbye. See you later. And this one right here. Okay. Gone. Now, let's back out. Not bad looks a little strange with the eyes like that but we'll get to that now we painted the hair we did it we're gonna make a, another layer now we're gonna bring your layers up make a new layer this is where your color is gonna live so we'll call this face color in the face color you're gonna click on the brush tool in the brush tool you're gonna make a bigger diameter to brush over your face with the hard edge that's fine maybe a little bit bigger That'll be alright, a little bit bigger. That's fine. Now, I want to color myself my close to my pigment. I'm um, uh, you know, fairly tan. Not too much. That's about right. And now, do yourself a favor. Don't hold down and color and then lift up and then do it again because you're going to do that. Everyone does it and it's a mistake and it's going to drive you berserk. In the face color layer, hold your hand down once and try and get it as close as you can to these edges especially and get your ears as well get the outside of your ears get as close as you can to your jaw bones and cheekbones whatever you want to call them coming along and listen you can erase this afterwards if you've gone out of the edge it's not a big deal but it's always best rule of thumb to stay with as close in the edge as you can notice I didn't lift up my finger that's why everything stayed intact I'm going over this completely try and go a little quicker alrighty then with that done you're gonna go into this menu here and go to multiply and it puts it all over your face now like I said if you don't like something and you want to erase obviously it's a bigger diameter you can go along the edge and slowly erase little things if you needed to okay now the inside of the ear you want to color a darker color along with if you have lips here so we're going to well first let's get the brush selected let's go into everything that needs to be in color is colored as far as my skin so I'm gonna go into here I'm gonna darken the tone a bit to about here and now I'm gonna lower the oh, bring this down to about a size of a lip which would be here and now sorry I'm gonna lower the opacity just a little bit to like 80 and I'm gonna give myself a little lip fine so now I have at least I have some lips here you know because which I didn't have prior but those lips are totally hideous so I'll lower the opacity a little bit more and the diameter rather and I'll lower the opacity a bit more and I'll go subtle with it yeah when you have an outline actually of your lips this is a lot easier all right so I'm going to leave it at that. Let's just say that that's fine, which it's all right. You also want darker ears. The inside of your ear should be a bit darker. Just enough to say it's there. That's fine. Whoops, I went over it. Right about there, that's all. Nothing crazy. And in here, just a subtle little something. There you go. Now we know that that's there. Your eyes, you can't see them. Get into here. You're going to want to erase. 
parts of the eyes so you can see them in the facial color in the face color part you're going to erase the eyeball lower the diameter a bit and let's get into there whoopsie there you go and bring your eye back I went out of lines a bit sorry about that it's because the diameter is big and I'm getting a little lazy don't get lazy people especially if you've done so much so far alright there you go cool moving right along whoops move it over here uh, erase this part of the eyeball yes this part does a lot and you also want to erase the teeth gotta have my teeth back my, my pearly whiteies close into there this helps getting a little closer okay kiss that edge don't go too close there you have the whiteies okay let's back out and see what's going on okay so now now that we have that we are also going to we did the lips we're gonna do up my clothing really quickly this should be super duper fast click the magnify click the brush tool go into your clothes I wanna make my shirt blue I'm with it that's fine diameter's gotta be a bit bigger whoops you don't wanna pick it up you wanna just do it once so there it is there's my shirt coming along okay okay And there we have it. Now I'm going to just color in this shirt really quickly. Not too difficult. Easy. Whoops. I went out of the edge, and that's all right, because I can erase it afterwards, which I'm going to. It's already multiplied over it, so it's not a big deal. Like, because it's in the layer that we multiplied, we're just adding color, more color. Do not lift your finger, because if you do, it's going to double the color and it won't it'll be a big big like it'll show a circle a contrast and you don't want that so I'm slowly erasing that's fine alright got it that's fine now I'll just erase that little piece here click the eraser tool and we will erase it I don't want that that's fine there now this is pretty much almost on its way done. Let me fix this edge here. And this edge will kiss over here. All right. Now, I'm going to do one last thing. And then we can call this thing a day. We're going to make a red background. So I'm going to click on this, make a new one here. I'm going to go underneath everything. I'm going to make a new layer right here. So I'll make a new layer. And in this layer, oh, sorry, in the background copy, you want to erase everything so I've erased everything I, I've seen in my background copy basically now in layer one control D in layer one it's really easy guys all I'm gonna do is click on the brush tool I'm gonna make a huge brush and I'm gonna make it in red I'll do it in the uh, outside it's fine oh you want the opacity to be really full alright and now let's color in the whole entire layer whole image that's fine and this is the last thing you gotta do in this one little layer here you're gonna just erase the edge make it a really big eraser bigger than that and we're gonna just erase whoopsie we'll go into here in the eraser tool a softer edge and we're gonna erase the edge revealing only yourself that's why I didn't mind the hair like that guys See. And there you have it. Coming to life. Now you have a Roy Lichtenstein-ish looking uh, image of yourself. Alright. And that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And painless. Thank you so much.